celebrate our feast of the ascension of the Lord into heaven. Let's begin our Mass as we call upon the name of our God, who is Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we gather on this ascension day, mindful that Jesus is one with his Father in heaven, but has not left his orphans, has sent his Spirit among us to inspire us to works of mercy and love. Let's place ourselves in his presence. Let's ask for mercy and pardon for our sins. Lord Jesus, you have sent us your spirit to guide us, strengthen us, inspire us in your works of mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are a resurrected and ascended Lord. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. And may almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting blood. And together we praise our God as we say glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended this day to the heavens, may in spirit dwell already in heavenly realms, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. 
When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones and what is the surprising greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. all of you. Our reading this morning from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Well, today's feast of the ascension of the Lord is kind of a, what we could call a bittersweet uh, kind of uh, feast, isn't it? Bitter, sad in the sense of sort of a departure. Jesus leaves his disciples. Uh, they say goodbye. The Lord says goodbye to his disciples. They've been with him for three years now, following him. They've seen his miracles. They've heard his parables. Uh, they've seen the good that he has done. But they have to, they say goodbye. He departs from them. And so I'm sure there was much, much sadness, just as we say goodbye to a, a good friend, uh, maybe a, a teacher or a coach, uh, a parent. You know, we move on in our life and uh, we part, we move on in our life, as it were. We think of our graduates uh, these days, especially who are leaving the high schools there and uh, we'll have some kind of graduation for them, I'm sure. But uh, uh, anyway, we thinking about them and praying for them as they move on, uh, upward and onward uh, in their life. So we all have these, these transition moments uh, in our lives that uh, can, be, can be very, uh, how do we say, very sad but we do move on. Well, uh, the good news, of course, is power and energy, isn't it? And Jesus says that to the disciples to say, I will, I will not leave you orphaned. I'm, I'm not abandoning you. He says, all power has, have a, in heaven and earth has been given to me, and he passes it on to them, you see? Well, this is the power, the energy uh, that we receive in uh, baptism. Sometimes we don't realize that there's a power there or an energy there for good. Sometimes we, we see it later on uh, in our life, you see, when we, uh, the Lord becomes more evident to us uh, in the work that he calls us to do, and uh, we're a little bit more intentional about that, right? Uh, at a later time, we have confirmation uh, in our life. We're thinking about our young adults preparing for confirmation uh, because we celebrate that in the high school years, and uh, it's all about the coming of the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Holy Spirit and committing ourselves to Christ in a more intentional way. So uh, uh, once again, it's not just for one time, uh, but any time we're about the good news, uh, any time we're about the healing, the merciful work of Jesus, uh, we're being his agents of love, mercy, and goodness in the world. We're spreading out that good news, you know. And so we have our doubts and fears, uh, as the apostles did that day. It says they doubted. Uh, as we look at our world, we look at our lives, you know, we have a lot of doubts. Uh, but uh, don't dwell on the doubts. Dwell, dwell on the power. Dwell on the energy. Uh, dwell on the good news that God has poured forth into your hearts, uh, into your souls, and uh, be about that. I think we've seen many signs of that goodness these past few months, haven't we, during the time of the seclusion, and uh, as people are doing good for others, the doctors, the nurses, many people in their own homes. I think the latest thing I see is people driving around and visiting people that are shut in or celebrating birthdays or celebrating anniversaries and paying a visit to them or uh, flashing their lights, hopefully not honking their horns too long, <laughs> waking up the neighbors, but the idea there is awareness of, of, of a brother and sister in need who needs a, a cheering up and a visit and some good news. So anyway, may, may we be about this good news as we continue our celebrations of this Easter season. Jesus passes over, passes on the, uh, his life to us, his disciples, uh, to be bearers of his light. And we have, that's the light that we have received and are called to bear and let shine forth in our lives. So may we be about that uh, these days, especially when our world is in such need of uh, this hope uh, this joy, this peace that Jesus has to offer us. Let's all please stand now and continue as we profess together our Apostles' Creed. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us all now pray mindful of our needs as we gather as God's people this morning. Let's offer our prayers to our God as we celebrate the feast of the ascension of the Lord today. Let's be mindful of the legacy and life of goodness that Jesus leaves us as his disciples and be bearers and witnesses of that light and hope to others through our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all of our graduates from the high schools, the colleges these days who will be moving on to bigger and better things in their lives, that God will be with them as they make these transitions uh, into new challenges in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for our married couples to be joined in marriages during these days of spring and summer, that the Lord bless all of these covenants of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we be signs of Jesus' mercy in goodness and hope through our own lives, through the good works of mercy and kindness that we are called to do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who are ill at this time, all of those suffering from the virus, the coronavirus, all the doctors and nurses, caregivers, caring for them in their illness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all your special intentions this morning, ever-living and loving God, as we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension of Jesus. We are sad, but we're mindful of the Spirit that He has left us, a spirit of energy and power and life. Renew us all in that faith today as we celebrate your Ascension. We lift up these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in the singing of Rejoice, the Lord is King, number 716 in the music issue. Thank mm -hmm. you. my sisters and brothers that these offerings of bread and wine and all of our gifts will be truly acceptable to God who is our Almighty Father May the Lord accept this sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all God's holy church amen we offer sacrifice now in supplication O Lord to honor the wondrous ascension of your son Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with all of you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, the conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and humanity, judge of the world and Lord of all, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly estate, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy every land, every people, 
exalts in your praise and even the heavenly hosts with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered into his passion, he took the bread, gave you thanks and praise, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice filled with wine, gave you thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. In the mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, Robert, our retired bishops, all the clergy and people of God. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. We pray to our Father as Jesus, our Lord has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety, worry and fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus, you said, my peace I leave you. 
My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on our faith. Grant us all the peace and joy of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with all of you. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Jesus, our Savior, comes to us to strengthen us on our journey through life with the gift of his body and blood. Happy are those called to share now in this his son. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward, to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Lord, bow our heads and pray for God's blessings. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and fill you with his love. And may the blessings of Almighty God come upon you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Please join in number 318 in the Missalette.